Hi, I'm Jason and welcome back to the Streetcar Culture YouTube channel. Um, this is my 1978 Mazda 929 uh, Series 3 station wagon. It's a Survivor. Uh, I got this off a mate that did me a good deal on it. Um, yeah, it's a true Survivor. You know, it's got it's a little rough around the edges, but that's sort of uh, what I like about it. Um, I've done little things like uh, put early Mazda van rims on it, 4 inch fronts, 8 inch rears. Um, they're the same stud pattern, but you do have to stretch the rears because the old Mazda van rims are quite narrow. Um, I fitted a set, painted and fitted a set of RX, genuine RX5 Mazda guard mirrors. Uh, just couldn't find Series 3 uh, 929 RX4, so these were the next best thing. Got these off a of mate who looked after me on these. Um, fitted the sun visor back to it um, and did the roof racks. Um, and you know what? Like I said, it's rough around the edges, but I love it. But driving it back from Hanging Rock Car Show recently, earlier this year, uh, the original driveline popped a head gasket and left me stranded. I think it was due to the the old uh, four speed doing 100 clicks, revving its head off, just didn't really enjoy it. Um, so now I've got it back out, it's been sitting for a little while, it's a bit dusty, haven't bothered cleaning it. Um, but now we're going to take you guys on a journey of doing a engine conversion. So Alright guys, so this is the, not the original motor, but a period correct motor. This is the uh, Mazda MA motor. So I'll take you around the other side. You guys can see my classic bonnet stay, which is my old broom. But yeah, this is a Mazda MA motor. Um, still running points, still running everything, but yeah, so it's got, I know it's a bit hard to see, but it's got um, the old milkshake happening. Uh, it's dumped all its water into the overflow and yeah it just started two stroking which means it just started missing and um, yeah couldn't get it started and basically just let me strand it so so yeah this is the sort of period correct drive line but we're going to pull all this out and some of you keen guys would know that I've got this MX-6 turbo sitting here these are factory F2T uh, block, so they're like an FE, a, a turbo version of the old Mazda FE block. So, so yeah, th this is a front wheel drive obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out, so it's a 2.2 litre turbo. We're going to pull this out and put it in that you guys on the journey with me as I attempt to fit a front wheel drive 2.2 litre factory turbo motor into my rear wheel drive 929 station wagon. Isn't traditionally played with these days. Any, I could whack an Alice 1 in here, I could whack an SR20 in here, um, but I didn't want to go down that way. I wanted to stick with uh, a Mazda type, uh, I guess, set up so it's basically bolt straight in looks factory but we'll have a bit more get up and go than the old bloody 70 horsepower ma that's been generous ma motor development and work planned with the 2.2 platform and i'm going to take you guys on a take you guys with me and show you how i convert it from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive and uh, hopefully turn this old survivor into a bit of a street sleeper. No one will suspect it, it's rough around the edges, but it'll uh, have a bit of poke to it hopefully. So stay tuned. Please, if you enjoy the content, subscribe, hit like, comment, tell me what you think of uh, the plans for this. And then next episode, we'll uh, take you to the engine builder and have a chat to him and see what we can do to push some power out of the old 2.2 litre. Thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. It really goes far. Um, if you haven't already, check out our Facebook uh, group, Streetcar Culture Crew. Um, so our Streetcar Culture Facebook page. If you're an enthusiast, jump on there, share your ride. Um, we do club permits, 
uh, yeah we do a bit of everything so hope you enjoy the vid cheers <laughs>